So uh, it's Wednesday today and probably Tim, I cut it out my intro that I made on Monday because I was like, oh guys, I'm so pumped up about it. Oh, I'm so pumped up about this video today. This is, everything's falling off the rails this week. That was a terrible day. Everything has gone terrible. I, <laughs> it's gone really, really bad. So Monday I had one ax come out. Like I spent all day one ax. Yesterday, Tuesday was going a little bit better. It's starting to pick up some motion on some processes, getting things locked down a little bit better, but still, you know, kind of figuring everything out. So today I'm hoping I can uh, send it, but I'm not even going to be optimistic about that. Let me show you where we're at. We'll jump into it. Oh, I'm so pumped up about this video today. This is Here's the transformation from what it started from. It's just incredible forging, how you can compress the material like that. stop on the process and bring them all up to this speed so we'll go do what we just did a whole bunch more. Whoa! What a chunky business here. So these are ready to cool off and then I'm gonna pick those up after lunch here. Starting these bad boys right here. Not happy about this, but at this point I haven't got a better workflow yet for dealing with the flare out on the top of the lug here. So we're gonna cut the top one off in the bandsaw. Or at least we're gonna try it. I think it's gonna work. So typically I don't really show this much, this part of the ax making, I guess, because it's sort of not super extreme fast movements, so it's not super interesting, but I feel like I'm going to show it today because it's actually a lot of work and this is where I do all the hand work. People will often be like, oh, Tim, you spent all that time on tooling, making ax so fast, should be cheaper and stuff. Well, yeah, I built the tooling to make the ax, to help me in making the ax, because if I didn't have it, I couldn't even make an ax at all because I physically couldn't do it. So this is where we get into a lot of the handwork and tweaking. I've already done the blade, tweaked it, but visually it's pretty much there, but it's not there yet. So now we're going to spend quite a bit of time working on the eye, 
in the back and getting that eye tuned in. So we'll just, it's all at the anvil, a little bit at the upsetter, you'll see. Let's uh, run it through though, I'll show you. I got two on the go, that's how I do it. I'll keep it real speed for a little bit at least, so you can kind of see the workflow.
so I actually had to do less hammer work, hand hammer work, than normal on those, which was great. Cause I was uh, showing off in a sense. It's really satisfying to see this eye so tight and clean. And I could say now, actually in general, about the whole axe, you know, that doesn't just happen. We've spent the last four weeks or so dialing this process in, but now we're, we're getting pretty close. Hey, a couple small things that I'd like to tweak in the process, but here, check out the rack here. So Monday I got one axe done the whole day, and then Tuesday, did I get even two done? And then yesterday, I kind of lost track about how many I did because I kind of, at that point, I was confident in my process, so I kind of lumped the first half and then the second half. But uh, what's crazy is that, if you look up here, these are all the test axes, no, not even all of them, that I ran to get this dialed in. <laughs> look at this pile. And looks like as many axes are down there and I don't have any more of the 1919 train rail because the axe is so big that it needs to come out of the top of the train rail because it's already maxed out under nasal which has this huge throw so I, I can't make any more. Luckily, pre-orders and how much we had worked out just perfect as long as we don't lose anything in the heat treat. <laughs> Not going there. Anyways, we got lots of Blackhawk hatchets coming, which is awesome. But because uh, I got to tell you all who pre-ordered expected a three pound axe. Yeah, I hope you're okay with getting a bigger axe. I might actually have to reach out to you specifically on an email and make sure because, well, let's put it on the scale and see. Here we go. The Blackhawk axe weighing in. Finished head wink, all done. Oops, touch it. Oh, you can't see it because it's so dark. 4.014 pounds. So, that is a four pound axe right there. Wow. Wow. I really, this is the first axe. It's actually just dirty. I was just trying it outside. That I've really tried hard to forge in here to get that radiused curved surface. Typically we've been grinding up in here. It's sort of naturally happening because the axe is bigger. It's easier to do. Put the straight edge on in here. See how there's like that roll? That makes it so that the axe doesn't get stuck. And it just really encompasses the texture. I know some of you said, hey Tim, you know, we really want that texture not to be lost from the grinding in there. So I really went to town to try to dial that in and oh, it's just gorgeous. The 1919 looks so good on this. So here's the thing though, to those of you who have pre-ordered the Black Hawk Axe, expecting a three pound head because at the beginning of this, I guess it's four weeks ago, that was my target, but I've adjusted based solely upon how it looked with everything. And I love the way this looks. But if you're like, Tim, I don't want a four pound ax, I want a three pound ax, and I'll just grind the living daylights out of it to make it three pounds. <laughs> I'll cry the whole time, but I'll do it for you because I love you. No, seriously, if, if you're like, Tim, that's gonna be too heavy for me, just reach out on an email, and um, either A, I'll give you your money back, or B, we'll try to like, I guess grind and then reforge it a little bit to make it smaller. I really think that you're gonna love this ax at four pounds because it's ridiculously awesome. Take my word for it. But anyways, that, that's just a little caveat with the pre-order and how we developed everything. And, and seriously, I know I've said it many times, but to everybody who has pre-ordered one of these axes, before you even saw the finished product, like mind is blowing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's put the handle on this bad boy. Let's see how it all works, looks, and try it out. Oh, this is gonna be a fun day. Look what just came in the mail. We gotta do some talking about this, this, and this. The problem is, I'm not sure if I start here or here. Start here, I'll show you what's in here. Oh, there it is. 
Check it out. Dress responsibly. Look at this packaging. This is next to my own packaging. This is the best packaging I've ever received. I want to send stuff in something like this. This is so cool. Check this out. How cool is that? Oh, guys, I'm so excited to show you this inside. Oh, my goodness. Look at those colors. So this is from Anion. They're a local company. Dress responsibly. They work from all post-consumer materials. They have this package here is all their wools, which is a fantastic quality product. Uh, you've heard me talk about the Meldon, which is what I'm wearing right now. I've been wearing it since October, and you've seen it in like every single video because this is hands down, this is like the most worn piece of clothing I have. So, and, and just to say how this all has worked, I reached out to them originally back last year and said, hey, would you be interested in sending me some of your pieces? I'd love to try them out because they're cool. If I like them, I'll talk about them. So I did that on this, and now they just released a new piece called the Berlino. Here it is. Look at this. Whoa. Oh yeah, huge upgrade. Two pockets. Okay, quickly before I try this on, I'm not supposed to talk about this because that'll be coming in the fall. This is their field coat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at how thick that is and the butt. Okay, that's coming at a later date, but oh, I my goodness, I've never been this excited about clothing ever. Oh yeah, it's amazing. It's a little bit baggy for me in the uh, sleeves, but I, I don't mind that because I'm always wearing a long sleeve underneath and I'd rather be comfortable than looking super slim. Oh, the two pockets, guys. That's such a good asset. Look at this. Okay, quickly, before I lose you all, because I could talk about this forever. This, when I saw this, I was like, look at that color on camera. That's insane. Oh, it's got a pen pocket, guys. I don't know how this works, though, that, I guess the pen is too big. Hang on, let me try a different pen. So I guess your pocket, Oh, I see. I think it's supposed to be like that. It's got a little hole in the top. I don't know if you can see that. So your pen, that's sweet. Oh, that's sweet, guys. Wow. I've always been a notebook guy, but I've always been a bigger notebook. Colin from Alibi Leather Goods, he gave me one. More on that later. Colin and I have been working behind the scenes pretty hard to be bringing you. Anyways, something special is coming. He gave me a, a field note. Started carrying that because I had the pocket and like, this is the best thing ever. It keeps me going straighter path. This just came in the mail. I bought this with my own money, not sponsored. 1924 US, super cool company. Check it out. So I bought some of their small. Oh, there's different patterns on the back. How cool is that? And I'm thinking, does it fit? <gasps> Oh no! Okay, wait. Don't worry, I got another pocket. Seriously. I'm okay. Oh, 100%. Super excited about this. I don't know why I'm so pumped up. I think I'm pumped up because I feel like this is a company that, in my mind, it makes sense. Using things that people would be throwing away, making a quality item. Doesn't that sound right? Okay, here's the deal. Anion has offered a 20% discount if you use the code TimothyDick at checkout. Thank you, Anion, for sending me these clothes. I know that these are gonna be a part of my life for the rest of my life. Pumped about that. Let's get to that stamp and what's going on with that. So just over here at the fly press, Anion Basically, I think our two companies are so similar in essentially what we're trying to do when using waste, something that's been thrown away or discarded or is considered waste, and we're taking that, reclaiming it, repurposing it, and make it into a quality item. So anyways, they actually commissioned me to build some axes for them. So that's what the stamp is. So we're going to quickly try the stamp out and seeing how that looks in these Blackhawk axes. I'll also be doing some hatchets for them. So, 
thank you to them for also just supporting me and my work directly. Uh, I'm fired up. Check it out. That punch worked great. Super crispy, sharp. Check out how the, uh, the stamp worked really good. This axe isn't ground, right? But like, really happy with that. It's gonna be super fun. And she's all done. So I'll do the rest of those off camera. We'll carry on. Yeah, that's pretty tight. Oh, that's the finished axe right there. Wow. There's the finished axe right there. She's heavy, hey? If I can actually hit anything, there we go. Shouldn't be splitting all the wood on the pile already, hey? <laughs> I ain't no fucking Billy Ray here, but let's see if I can uh, crack this sucker open. See if we can get this gnarly chunk out here. Nice. What a project, what a project. Love to tell you they're available on the website. It feels super weird to not say that, but I'm gonna try to secure some more train rail so we can launch into another batch of the ax. We're gonna have lots of the hatchets coming available and that's available for pre-order if you wanna do that right now. Whew, out of breath. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Remember to check, hey, stop laughing at me being out of breath. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, thank you to Anion for making incredible clothing. If you want to use the promo code TimDDick at checkout, get 20% off. Scoop some of this stuff up, it's awesome. As always, thanks for watching. I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. And until then, keep the forge lit, eh? We'll see you in the next one. Man, I gotta start working out, Martin. This is ridiculous. Wow. Burpees, Tim. What's that? Burpees, Tim. I'm not doing, if I do burpees, I'll be barfing. Mm.